We are back. We got to talk about Chelsea and Jimmy breaking up. Okay. Now, unfortunately, Chelsea could not see what we all saw. He wasn't into you. He played a role the whole time. Okay. But Chelsea, it became all about her insecurities were so loud. Okay. You could not be in a relationship with someone who has such loud codependency, angst attachment style, unhealed hurt. I think at times she does struggle to take accountability, but Jimmy is also wrong, okay? Now, it felt like he took her on that date because he had to, because of camera time, because of his role. He once again to me was playing a role. He knew when he first saw her, he wasn't interested, okay? But to watch them kind of go through this spiral, this cycle over and over again, <laughs> I thought like I was trying to play Tetris, putting the pieces into her thought process. But he did have some key points during that breakup. I told you a secret. I want to see that you can hold space for me, that you can keep stuff to yourself. In a marriage, you're gonna to have to be able to hold space and at times secrets, not from each other, but just trust, building the foundation of trust. And she broke it. Okay, not only that, when he said, when we got engaged, the first person you called was your ex. Not only did you call him, girl, you FaceTimed him in front of your new man. That is starting the foundation of, I'm already one foot out the door because I don't like how you look. Now you're calling your ex right after I propose. Where was your mama at? Your dad, you couldn't call your friends, but to FaceTime, there is a double standard. Okay. And I think Chelsea struggles to see some of the stuff she nitpicks at with him. She does the same thing. She nitpicks also about his friendships. She is codependent. She gets a lot of her self-worth from relationships. And this, what we saw these edit scenes, she got a lot of her self-worth from being with Jimmy. He couldn't have friends. I don't know how often he was going out, but it seemed like whenever he wanted to hang out with his friends, it brought her insecurities because she did not feel comfortable with him texting, talking a woman that he had slept with. But you say you hang out and associate with somebody that you have done the same thing with. Make it make sense. Why is it okay for you, but it's not okay for me? But I do think he kind of like, Kobe that, so what do you, where are you at? What do you think? Well, actually, yeah, I don't want to marry you. What? No, what happened? And it's kind of sad to see her, you know, she had her wedding dresses, only to know like, she had to know that this was not really working. I find it really hard to believe that these couples really don't have any conversations lean up to the altar. You have to have some kind of inkling that, they're gonna say no, or have a straight up conversation that I'm gonna say no. So it's hard for me to believe that she had no context that he was thinking about saying no. But she has to take accountability. She has to recognize how her emotional instability led to where she is now. And I think just as much as we want men to take accountability, Chelsea needs to learn how to take accountability herself. Accountability, the key to a healthy relationship. You have a lot of things working against them, okay? You had the whole Megan Fox comment. I think he never got over the friendship dynamic. It was a lot of mess. They were never gonna make it work, okay? One thing I do wish that they would do more of in the future is that when one couple, you know, breaks up, doesn't make it, I wanna see the conversation with the other people because when AD and Amy showed up to the bachelorette party, they're not wondering where Chelsea is. Okay, why didn't we get that scene? Anyway, Jimmy has his own faults. Jimmy is also part of the problem, but he did have some, he has some points, girl. You made your bed. So now you gotta lay up in it, okay? And, and I don't wanna lay with you. I'm gonna go over here and live with my, my friend over here, okay? Now, what can you really say? Chelsea, work on yourself. Take some accountability, work on that codependency. You cannot get all of your self-worth from a relationship. Ask yourself, 
Am I functioning as Jimmy? Am I functioning as Chelsea? What part do I play in where my relationship is and where it's going? Okay, now this is just a quick breakdown of how your trauma shows up in your relationship, that unhealed hurt, that wound, that here, you cannot get from the outside. You have to work on filling that void that you're trying to get from men, females, relationships, shopping, trips. That stuff on the outside will only pour for so long. And eventually it'll stop working. Those band-aids are eventually not gonna work anymore. And you have to really work on and look at what is happening here? How do I tap into it? What am I feeling? How can I become better? Okay. Now I gotta go, but like this video, subscribe, let me know your thoughts because your girl can get into it. All right. Bye.